because he was he was useless. Yeah, you know? he was. <laughs> oh, yeah, so um, your yeah, battle rap, yeah, and yeah, now it yeah, has evolved. You know, just like um, for an example, um, let's look at music. It's like like hip hop to begin with. The hip hop music back in the eighties. Yeah, I I believe you're familiar with um Eric, yeah, B Rakim. Um, yeah, all all of them. Yeah, hip hop was you know, known as you know the four elements: DJ graffiti, B boy, and MC. It was that kind of style throughout the eighties. But when the nineties came, hip hop evolved with a lot of G funk. You know, from um. 213, you know, Nate Dogg, Warren G, and you know, them, and even Snoop Dogg. Mm. And, and especially with you know Tupac coming in with his hardcore stuff, yeah, hip hop started evolving. So the, the term battle rap back in the 90s was known as a, just a freestyle, you know, on a beat. You're all over America, like, like in New York, you're commonly all over, you know, California, the north of America. Mm. Battle rap term was just known for all those freestylers, you know, freestyle on the beat. But then from the 2000s all the way to right now, yeah, battle rap is now known as all a cappella, so they're expecting you to write, you know, you know come prepared, do your homework, mm. because you know when you structure, and it's a good feeling too. When you when you structure, it, it actually you know brings the best out of you. You know when you write, freestyling to show your creativity and stuff, it's all good, mm. but it has a certain limit because the downfall of freestyling, especially to a beat, is that um anyone can just spit anything, you know that's already been said before, without themselves knowing. So, you know, that outdated, um, you know, time has already come to its reach. But when you write your lines, when you come prepared, you have no limits. And it definitely brings, the, the, you know, the best out of you, showing how unique you are and how unique you can be. So, battle rap term today is just all a cappella written, mm. you know, like in structure, structuring it, writing a setup and a punch. So, every first sentence that you hear someone spit on the a cappella phrase is like a setup. And then when they rhyme or land a punchline yeah that's a punchline so all that together is a bar and you know, they set up punch and it's a bar bar that's why everyone you know that likes to like nod their head like feeling the excitement yeah yeah, yeah you can see it all over youtube especially in america's biggest league at url ultimate rap league and now here in new zealand and the biggest b battle league yes yeah, so here in auckland as we already know one ounce yeah, it's it's all just yeah, just a cappella now nowadays, mm. from two thousand to all the way to right now. It's interesting how you talk about how the emphasis on the a cappella rapping was was the lyrics because that's yeah basically um, hip hop the 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 soul of MC eh? Yeah, definitely. Just like you know that. how you, you know how the four elements the DJ and the MC and they're two separate. Yep. Right. So the MC part is is you got to be show your skills lyrically. Eh? Yeah. So I think I think what happened. It's cool that they put an emphasis on that back mm. again when they. Yeah, went, definitely. Because who who actually started that? Who actually not started, but who actually pushed that sort of um, style, like to to cut the music and just let's, let's just go back to concentrating on our on our lyrics. Uh, from from my knowledge, all, all I know is that um, is, is that yeah, the biggest you know b battle leagues in in America. Mm. Yeah, have been exposed heaps, especially on YouTube. It's been reached all over the world, and yeah, even our Kiwis. Yeah, us Kiwis, yeah, love it because you know how how everyone in New Zealand is a big fan of America for everything they do. Yeah. So yeah, seeing all, all of that yeah inspires all of us, and yeah, makes us wanna start being like them in a way mm. by doing you know doing it all in our own version. Or especially when um I heard this heaps of times by a lot of uh, people who've been watching the wrestling, especially um John Cena. Yeah, John Cena has done his own a cappella kind of rap against a fan, you know, for his intros before he hops on a ring. Mm. Yeah, a lot, a lot of your wrestling fans have seen this. I haven't, <laughs> but they all have, have told me about it. So, yeah, I guess a bigger name like him can definitely, you know, inspire a lot of people yeah, to get into it. Mm. And once it reaches out to us or any other yeah, countries out there in the world, then, yeah, we all just seem to follow along. Yeah, no, that's... It's a real interesting name because when, because you know, at the time when I was figuring out what the what, what is this, you know, I hear the word one outs on social media. I, I see um, Kevin Hart do his chocolate drop thing. <laughs> I made no no connection until I talked to a friend of mine and he was he was just filling me in on what one, one ounce is and there's a rap battle league and I should look at this YouTube and all that that kind of stuff and then which got me to um, Dila. Yeah. So, so just me, just wanting to know more about it. 
Yeah. Just bringing that guy in and having a chat about, and that's the podcast that you saw, right? Eh? Yep, that's definitely. Him on and that was pretty cool. Like, it's was, it was pretty cool to find out things that's happened around the area, around West Auckland, especially around Henderson, around the area, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Especially the, uh, the bro dealer that you mentioned, yeah, him being our cornerstone, you know, yeah, being our leader of the whole battle rap scene, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, being, yeah, being the, you know, the, the rock or the backbone of our, of, of our battle rap culture. Yeah, we're well, watching your guys, yeah, you know, podcast all like, whoa, I want to see this. Mm-hmm. And believe it or not, I, yeah, that actually made me um, not want to, no, not not want to yeah, eat yeah, eat dinner or anything like I didn't do any cooking because I was just interested in watching you know this two hour podcast something like that. <laughs> <laughs>